السلام عليكم بالمحاضرة السابقة توصلنا إلى العلاقة ب في في تورتامي والكونستانت and this is done by the help of the ideal gas equation B V to say in R T. So this also can be expressed as temperature and volume T V V to gamma minus one equal constants. Also the relation between the temperature and the pressure T to power gamma over pressure to power gamma minus one equal constant. And this is gamma for ideal gas equal one zed two over F. And this is the F is degree of freedom. So for monoatomic, the degree of freedom is a three. Then gamma equal one zed اثنين على ثلاث. For diatomic, we have degree of freedom equal five. Then gamma equal one plus two over five. And for polyatomic, the degree of freedom is six. So gamma equal one plus two over six. Okay. Adiabatic process in ideal gas, we know that we describe in previous lecture the what you mean by adiabatic process in ideal gas. So the work in adiabatic process equal if we have the pressure, the relation between the pressure and the volume. So the Q in adiabatic process from one to two equal zero. So the work from one to two equal, from one to two we have change in volume. So the integral equal B as a, fun as a function of V T D V and from V one to V two. And this is equal the integration from V1 to V2 minus and the function BVTV equal from relation before B1 to V1 to power gamma ala V gamma to power gamma DV. So if we make integration, the work from one to two in adiabatic process. This is adiabatic process equal V1 في V1 على جاما minus 1 في bracket 1 minus V1 over V2 to power gamma minus 1. Okay. And gamma equal 1 زائد 2 على 3 وتساوي degree of freedom for uh, monoatomic 1 زائد 2 على 3 تقريبا 1.67 This is a monoatomic and 1.4 in diatomic and 1.33 polyatomic Again, neglected the vibration degree of freedom إذا هون عملنا تجاهلنا ال vibrational degree of freedom Okay. In isothermal process, we know that is a constant temperature process. So any heat flow in or out of the system must be slow enough to maintain thermal equilibrium. For ideal gases, if Delta T is zero. This means the change of internal energy equals zero. Therefore, Q equals the work. Because the internal energy in the previous lecture we defined as depends on the temperature as a function of temperature. 
or ideal gas if threat three n r delta t something like this and delta t temperature is constant so delta t is zero and delta u equals zero and in first if we substitute this in the first law of thermodynamic we get a result that the heat is equal to the work any energy entering the system q must have must leave as a work and then this means that q equal heat equal the work that any energy entering the system q must leave as a work okay so the work done when bv equal nrt what to say we constant this means that bv b to say we nrt over v okay this is the process number three in the previous curve in the lecture okay the work equal the integral from initial to final minus bdv and this is equal minus the area under the curve okay even the work equal we substitute the pressure equal in rt over v then the work minus from v initial to v final the n r t d v over v what to say we minus in r t this is a constant from v initial to v final the d v over v and the integral d v over v equal linear v final over v initial or linear v final minus linear v initial ومن الخصائص اللوغاريتميك إذا كان طرح بنقسم إذا كان جمع بنضرب so the final result for the work in isothermal process equal minus n rt fill in v final over v initial okay isothermal change this means that delta T equals zero. And the yani delta U equals zero and BV is NRT. We know that from Boyle's law in various lectures, T1 equals T2. This means B1 PV1 to sell B2 PV2. Okay. Again, an isothermal change. We said that Q equal the work, and this is equal the integral from V1 to V2, the V dV to say we NRT V dV, and the NRT fill in V2 on V1. Like from Boyle's law, we know V1 V V1 to say we V2 V2. This means the relation V2 على V1 equal V1 على B2 equal to add the Q equal the work and okay to say we also NRT fill in B1 على B2. We know that we can do substitute substitute the pressure instead of the volume and then another relation related to the pressure therefore linear v2 on v1 equal the work over nrt هذا يعني اذا اخذنا الاكسبونشن للطرفين هذا يعني انه v2 على v1 تساوي اكسبونشنال الورك على nrt and v2 على v1 equal exponential minus work على NRT. Okay. Isochoric or isovolumetric process. An isochoric process or isovolumetric process, this means the volume is constant in this process. 
So when the volume of system doesn't change, it will do no work on its surrounding. This means the work equals zero. And as a result from the first flow of thermodynamic, delta U equals Q. This means heat in gas in the closed container is isochoric process. So isochoric or isovolumetric this means V equal constant. And then the work from one to two, here is the relation between the pressure and the volume. And the volume, you know, is a constant. So the work is from one to two is zero. And from the first the ideal gas equation, the BV to NKBT1 or BV to NKBT1. This means Q from 1 to 2 equal 3 NKB في delta T. وأيضا هاي تساوي from specific heat وتساوي CV في delta T. إذا the internal energy D equal Q from 1 to 2. In isoparic process, we know, we define, the isoparic pro process is a constant pressure. Okay. B with V, we have a constant pressure. Okay. So, delta U and the work and the Q are generally non-zero. But calculating the work done by an ideal gas is straightforward. So the work equal B times the change in volume. Water boiling in subspin is an example of an isoparic process. So the work from one to two equal integral minus B في dV وتساوي minus B مضروب في V2 minus V1 and this is less than zero and Q from 1 to 2 تساوي for diatomic 5 at 9 and Kp T2 minus T1 and this is greater than zero and this is equal CB delta T, the specific heat at constant pressure. And before, this is SV delta T is the specific heat at constant volume. Okay, so DU equal the work from 1 to 2, zed Q from 1 to 2. And we now connect the isoparic process and the specific heat. So this T1 and T is isotherms, okay? And this is one from one to two is isoparic process uh, at constant, constant pressure. And this one, the rectangular is the work, which equal minus B madrube fi V2 minus V1. And then minus B fi delta V, this means Q equal from first law of thermodynamic, delta U equal minus the work. And the work is equal B fi dV. So delta U equal plus B delta V. CB is molar specific heat at constant pressure, and this equals CB 1 over N number of moles for DQ by DT at constant pressure. So we know that Q equal N for CB for delta T. This is isobaric process. 
and for isovolumetric process Q to Sawi and CV delta T. Then, an ideal gas isoperic process, and CB delta T, okay, to Sawi and CV delta T, this is delta U, plus B في delta V. Then Q equal and C specific heat at constant temperature في delta T. Delta U equal N C V delta T plus B D V. إذن رتبنا المعادلات اللي هي N C B delta T تساوي N C V delta T وتساوي B في delta V هي عبارة عن إيش N R delta T. و in this case delta t delta t delta t and n n n from both sides of the equation the result is equal c b equal c b plus r for ideal gas. Then in summary work an ideal gas. الwork equal minus the integral BDV يساوي zero in isovolumetric process and the work equal minus B بال integral DV وتساوي minus B في V final minus V initial in isoperic process أما in isothermal process the work equal minus in RT fill in V final over V initial and the work equal zero in isovolumetric process where is the volume in constants and delta V in this case equal zero. Adiabatic and reversible, the work from one to two in adiabatic and reversible equal V1 for V1 over gamma minus one V practic one minus V one over V two to power gamma minus one. Okay. What you mean by enthalpy? It is a thermodynamic quantity equivalent to the total heat contents of the system. So the enthalpy equal U plus BV, U2 minus 1 equal Q plus the work, and we substitute all the relation. This means the Q equal minus this integral, which is how QB minus B V2 minus V1. And then QB to how H2 minus H1. And then the enthalpy delta H equal Q B at constant pressure. So constant, we have constant pressure, closed system, BV work only. So the heat, what you mean? The heat Q at constant pressure absorbed in a constant pressure, a process equal the system enthalpy change. The universal gas constant, the enthalpy delta H equal NCV delta T, delta E equal delta U, which is NCV delta T, heat capacity at constant pressure, CB equal DQ at constant pressure by DT, which is DH by DT at constant pressure, delta H equal QB, and this is the integral from T1 to T2, CB DT. Heat capacity at constant volume CV. And then the same as the following by JCV equal DQ V by DT. And then you add the ila inno delta U to say Q V. The change in the, the, the change in internal energy equal Q V the heat at constant volume. And this is integral 
from T1 to T2 to CV, the CV dt. And then CB bar minus CV equal R. No, and no CB to say CB over N and also CV equal CV over N. So CB to say we knock CV to say we NR. And then CB minus over N minus CV ala N to say we CB minus CV with to say we R. Okay. Also, we have exothermic and endothermic reaction. Exothermic process, a change example in chemical reaction that releases heat, releases heat, then exothermic process. A release of heat corresponding to a decrease of enthalpy. And exothermic process, delta H less than zero at constant pressure. مثال إذا كان بصير عندي condensation تكثيف crystallization of liquid إذا بدنا نعمل crystallization of liquids مثل مثلا الملح ال ACL ممكن إنه إيش نعمل كريستال من الملح ف this is a process is exothermic endothermic process a change a change example in chemical reaction that requires or absorb heat and then absorption of heat to correspond to an increase in, in enthalpy the endothermic process بينما exothermic process is a decrease enthalpy so endothermic process delta H greater than zero at constant temperature. Example, methyl evaporation, fusion, melting of solids. Vaporization, this means energy has to be supplied to liquid to enable it to overcome forces that hold molecule together. Endothermic process delta H positive. Melting energy is supplied to a solid to enable it to vibrate more vigorously until molecules can move past each other and flow as a liquid. Delta H is positive. Freezing liquid releases energy and allow molecules to settle into a lower energy state and for a solid. Exothermic process, delta H is negative. We remove heat from water when making ice freezer. In the freezing, we will heat from the water to see the shake in the ice. Change in thermal system example of reversible process what you mean by reversible process we have a cylinder okay so cylinder must be pulled or pushed slowly enough that the system remains in thermal equilibrium so we have this of a stone this is a gas okay so the pressure in isotherms, the reversible process connecting from A to B can be drawn as drawn as a curve on the B B diagram. Example of an irreversible process: the gas expands freely when a valve is open. Then and the gas إذا فتحنا الصمام فا ببلش إنه الغاز expand so from initial state to final state V1 and V2 this is the relation pressure to volume this is from initial and this is final state okay
So at this point, we uh, will uh, end the lecture and thank you for your attention.